LiDAR is perhaps the most exciting form of remote sensing. LiDAR relies on echolocation, much like sonar underwater, or radar, which uses radio waves from a ground-based antenna. or from an aircraft. A key thing about LiDAR is that it uses laser light. Laser light is not like the light you get from a normal light bulb. It has a very high intensity and it has a very specific wavelength. If we consider the laser light as being made up of small photons, many LiDARs will use billions of photons to generate a very bright beam. Some LiDAR systems can now actually operate at such low intensities that they measure individual photons returning from the target scene. This is particularly useful for putting LiDARs onto satellites. If you want to scan the Earth's surface, and in particular forests, you could use a terrestrial laser scanner. If you fly a laser scanner on an aircraft, you have to consider the scan pattern, which can have an impact on the coverage on the ground surface. Depending on whether you scan it in a zigzag pattern, or linearly, or in a circle, you might have a very different grid pattern on the surface. The grid pattern can also be influenced by the motion of the platform. Pitch, roll, and yaw can all influence the pattern on the ground. Pitch will tend to stretch the pattern forward and backwards. Roll will stretch the pattern left and right, and yaw will rotate the pattern. When you fly over topography, the pattern can also be influenced by the change in the slope. A LiDAR collects the echoes or reflections back from the transmitted laser beam. It collects this data in what's called a waveform, which shows the profile of the reflectance through the vegetation. Sometimes instead of recording the full waveform, the discrete points will be collected and these will form a point cloud. We can then process that point cloud and reconstruct the landscape that we're mapping.